In this video, I'd like to show you how to use checkboxes to turn things on and off. So first of all, I need to create the objects that I want to be able to turn on and off. So let me just, um, let's just go with a line. We'll say y equals 3x plus 1. So there's the line y equals 3x plus 1. And maybe also I'm going to have a circle in here. So I'm just going to start a circle. And maybe also I want some text in here. So I'll just say hello in this box. And I want to control these three things with a checkbox. Uh, so to insert a checkbox, you come over to wherever this is located. I realize this may not be the same version you're working with. But if you have your file options over on the right, um, you should be able to access these features as well. But on this uh, slider bar, you can see you can select a checkbox or a button. You're going to select checkbox and you're going to click somewhere to paste that checkbox down. So I'm just going to say this is a checkbox for demonstrative purposes and then you can choose what you want it to control. Um, if you click apply, it'll just insert a checkbox that will work and then we have to switch back to the move view to check it, uncheck it. Now right now it's not doing anything because it's not linked to any objects. So notice that this checkbox created a Boolean value and a Boolean value is just one that is either true or false. So you can see when I click it, the Boolean value which is assigned value B, B equals true and when I uncheck it, B equals false. Okay, so we're going to take advantage of that and we're going to control these three things, this text box, this circle and this line with the checkbox. So since I know this Boolean value is called B and that was automatically assigned when I created the checkbox, if I right click on the object that I want to control with it and I go to object properties, then uh, over on the advanced tab, you'll see this box that says condition to show object. And so all you'll type in here is the name of the Boolean value that the checkbox is controlling, which is B. And if I click out, you'll see that that line disappeared. Uh, that's because now B is, when it's set to false, it will not show the object. When it's set to true, it will. So now I can toggle this guy on and off. Now if I want the same checkbox, now if I want to create a different checkbox to control a different item, I can do that as well. But if I want the same checkbox to control multiple items, I'll just come over to the next item, go to Object Properties, go to the Advanced tab, if it's not already selected, and just type in again the name of the Boolean value. Uh, which in this case is B and make sure you click on a box to just just ensure that this has registered if you click in another uh, location it will make sure that now that object is linked so now if I uncheck it you see that the circle is appearing disappearing now these points that were created I can also have the points disappear or I could actually hide the point if I want I really don't want the uh, object so I'll just say uh, uncheck show object and now I can turn that circle on and off. I'll do the same thing here for the text, right click on it, go to the advanced tab, select the slider B, click into a different checkbox there, and now all three of those are being controlled by the checkbox. So that is how you use a checkbox.